Tonight, we spoke to a Tarzana woman whose loved ones were finally released. There's a mix of happiness and heartbreak in their stories tonight, as you can imagine. KCAL News reporter Nicole Comstock with more. You know, this is tough because this truly is an answered prayer for her to have four of her family members survive after 51 days in captivity. But she also knows that so many other families out there are also praying for safe returns. Galia Mizrahi has been desperately waiting for an update about her four family members for 51 days now. That's when she says Hamas took her cousin's wife and three of her young children hostage. It felt like I had a ton of bricks like on my chest and all of a sudden like they, they broke apart and I could just breathe. That's how this Southern California woman felt on Sunday when she learned that all four of her Israeli family members had finally been freed during a days long humanitarian pause in Gaza. They're super pale like they're like little ghosts. But the news was bittersweet. She says her cousin Nadav and his oldest daughter Yam were murdered moments before the rest of their family was kidnapped. The door of their, of their safe room was uh, blown up. He was uh, shot first. She was shot second. And that leaves Nadav's wife Han to raise her surviving family without them. And then Khan and Nadav were childhood sweethearts. They made it at the age of 14. So she comes back uh, a widow, uh, a grieving mother, and a war victim. This temporary truce has enabled the United Nations to deliver more food, water, and medicine to Gaza. But officials say it's nowhere near what's needed to prevent famine. As part of the ceasefire deal, Israel has released more than 100 Palestinian women and teens detained in Israeli jails before the war started. Galia says as she prays for all the remaining hostages, she keeps Nadav's favorite quote in mind. Hope dies last. And we kept the hope up the whole time that they were in captivity for 51 days and hope didn't die and we got him back and I'm very 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 grateful. And Galia says she plans to return to Israel in a couple of months to reunite with her family. Reporting in Tarzana, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL News.